Well, good afternoon. Homes and businesses in this area are on the border of Portsmouth and Chesapeake. And now, if someone calls 911 to report a fire, they can expect that both cities' fire departments will automatically respond, whereas in the past, one city would have to call for backup. When, when somebody's house is on fire, they really are not concerned about the name of the city that's on the truck. They want competent people to show up and fix the problem. The last piece of the puzzle is in place, a six-year initiative connecting the fire departments on the south side of Hampton Roads is complete now that Chesapeake and Portsmouth have partnered together. So the bottom line for the citizens is when you dial 911, you're going to get quicker service, better service. We are gratified and excited to announce the news about an automatic aid agreement. The automatic aid agreement is designed to bolster firefighting capabilities and reduce response times. See these highlighted areas? Calls from these neighborhoods will now trigger automatic dual aid. Fire Chief Ed Elliott of the Chesapeake Fire Department described the initiative. The easiest way to understand the concept of automatic like, aid no, is simply to take a map of Hampton Roads and then erase the city boundaries. For so long, cities have created their territories, departments have said we're going to respond to our own calls and to say, hey, we're all in this together makes it that much more satisfying. It's a move that could save lives and is credited not only to unsung heroes behind the scenes, but also those on the fire trucks and improved technology. Events like this are just the beginning. And thank you for making the bold and being the leaders as the public safety, providing the number one need to all citizens, and that is the right to be safe. And the fire chiefs tell me that they have been training together, both firefighters from Portsmouth and Chesapeake have been training together to make sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible when a call comes in. Reporting in Portsmouth, Angela Bohan, News 3.